Hello Aries, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your March 2021 tarot reading. For the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be for March 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy for the month. What do we have? Angel Spirits Guides for Aries. Wow, wow, we have the world. Big card to have Aries as an overarching energy. Very nice indeed. Okay, message for Aries, please. Message for Aries. What does Aries need to hear? Thank you. I have get more information. Things to do with facts. The detail. Getting into something. Something that you might need clarity on. There may well be some more information that's needed this month. But very big energy. Very beautiful energy with the world card. Okay, so I'm going to pull four cards, Aries. Roughly works out at one card per week, though the energies may well overlap. It is a general reading, so may or may not resonate for you. You decide what resonates. Okay, so what do we have for Aries, please? Angel Spirits Guides for March 2021. Thank you. We have the Fool. We have the Eight of Swords. Oh my goodness, two world cards, Aries. And the Knight of Wands. Okay. Message for Aries, please. Angel Spirits Guide. What does Aries need to hear the most? March 2021. Thank you. Okay. Three, oh my goodness, Aries. I've got three world cards here. I mean, that is crazy, but you know, I'm going to put it down. We have the Seven of Cups there. And we have the Knight of Cups. Ten of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, we've got the Sun. Absolutely beautiful. Okay. So the world card, world card is a card of major completions, but it's also a card of a goal. Um, it can be a card of goal achievement. It's a sign of wor worldly success. Um, so it can be very good in terms of material success, accomplishment. What you've been working towards, there could be some goal achievement here. It, it's, it's interesting that it's happening, uh, you know, at the beginning of your season, which is towards the end of March, um, so it does signify very much the new beginning in terms of the zodiac season as well, which is what your sign starts, the sign of Aries. Um, I'm definitely getting this energy Aries of, it, it feels like a cycle is ending. A major cycle is ending, but it's ending in victory. This is a card of success, achievement, accomplishment. Um, it's a card of winning as well, winning through. There's something to do with get more information here, Aries, but nevertheless, you know, so just bear that in mind. If something isn't clear to you, just get some more information here. But nevertheless, it feels very, very beautiful. And again, it's reaffirmed, ready to step through to a new phase of your life. Now, again, that could be because you've achieved some goal or there's a final completion in a situation here. But it's a, like I said, it's a completion that is victorious. It is as a result of your hard work, efforts. It's a sense of achievement, accomplishment. So we have the full, which is a new beginning, a brand new beginning. So something is a majorly ending here and there is a brand new beginning for some of you. And it feels very, very beautiful. You know, the full is take a leap of faith, take a chance, ready for new starts, new horizons new adventures, new pathways. Um, very, very beautiful indeed. And it's a really optimistic card because the, the fool carries very little baggage with him. And again, chooses the friends, the people that he takes on this new journey as well with that dog there. So it definitely feels for some of you that there is a final ending as well. But it feels like, yeah, I am ready now to step into this wonderful new phase of my life, new beginnings, new starts. 
The Seven of Cups, Aries, can sometimes be about choices, um, opportunities as well. Great potential there as well, the Seven of Cups. It promises great potential. It's Venus energy. Um, and you can see the Empress makes an appearance top left. So she is a Venus energy, which is almost like the promise of all these opportunities, doorway, doors to open, paths to open. You know, it feels that there is great potential around you. The message with the Seven of Cups is it's very much in line with your hopes, dreams and wishes. Uh, opportunity, like I said, choices. You may have more choices than you realize here. Sometimes there's confusion associated with this card and you're being told if you trust your intuition, you won't choose wrong. You will choose wisely. Now, the, the Eight of, of Swords can be, I don't know how to move forward. You know, I don't know. Um, it can be a card of being stuck in your own head. Um, but, you know, equally, you know, I, I'm feeling with this card, sometimes it can be. Yeah, sometimes it can just be, you know, coming to terms with things that don't serve you anymore and focusing on things that do, new pathways, new doors, new opportunities. You know, the source is to do with the mental energy. You know, it is, it is a card of to do with the mind, how we perceive something, our thought patterns. So just watch out for this. I mean, sometimes this can be about confusion, being stuck in your own head, you know, and yet there's great potential around you that you might not be seeing. Um, so it can represent this second week of March, Aries. So just watch out for that. The message is either way, if you trust your intuition, you won't choose wrong. You will see the way forward. You will see how you need to move forward. And it definitely feels for some of you, you know, you are ready to move forward because something is finally ending. So again, it feels like something, whatever this ending is, it might be preying on your mind a little bit here. You know, there may well be a process that you're going through here, but it definitely feels again, it's reaffirmed drawing the line under something and being ready for the new. And we are ready for the new with the Knight of Cups because this can be new love. Um, can also be linked with creative opportunity, um, can be you going in search of what makes you happy as well, Aries, being ready for change, you know, that kind of energy. But the nights are all about change. And in this case, it feels really positive change because there's a major completion happening here. And definitely this energy is just saying, oh, I am emotionally and physically ready for change now. Could be in the form of some kind of person or opportunity coming into your life as well. The Knight of Wands is a card of, um, it's a fire energy. So this can be you. It's a card of inspired action, going for something now, or it can well be where change is happening in your life. You know, this is just, oh, I am leaving the past behind me, whatever this major completion was, I am just on my horse, I am charging ahead, I am feeling good and just going for growth and putting, you know, I have my drive, I'm bringing success into my life and growth, you know, this is just a card of inspired action. Um, but the nights can also be opportunity coming into your life as well, the Knight of Wands. Very good in terms of business, career, very good also in terms of passion. So if this is to do with love, romance, relationships as well. Now, the Ten of Pentacles, you know, it can be a money card. So this could be the goal achievement that you've been looking for, the change you've been looking for. Um, very, very good when the sun's there as well, because it's all about new growth. Um, it's all about positive energy happening, things beginning to happen. This can be a goal achievement card as well, Aries. So very, very beautiful for that. Again, just bear in mind this, get more information, you know, so if there is some opportunity, um, something that you're not sure about, something that you're not quite, you're not quite seeing the big picture about here, just make sure you do get more information here. Um, but definitely very good in terms of money, career, business. Now, this could also be to do with family, the home, um, opportunities, 
you know, to, I mean, this could be a relationship going to the next level as well for some of you. That could be the completion energy. So definitely that could be that energy as well. Can sometimes be marriage, long-term commitment energy. Uh, the, the sun card Aries is a lovely energy of feeling good, feeling optimism. I'm going in the right direction now. Uh, good news, celebration, joy, happiness. The sun is really shining on you. And it's interesting, it's the beginning of Aries season towards the end of March, which is beautiful. Um, so, you know, and you can see all those sunflowers that talk about abundance. Remember, the sun card can be a card of success as well. Um, but it's positive, vitality, things happening, um, things being energised. Yeah, it's just such a beautiful, beautiful card. The most positive card of the tarot deck, the sun. Um, so definitely feeling good. You know, being in your element and feeling really good. Um, going towards the end of, of March, I feel, for some of you Aries. It's a beautiful reading. Some kind of major completion is happening here. But it's a completion that is victorious. That is... That is what you've been working towards, the lessons that you've learned, how you've grown as a person, the experience that you've gained is equipping you for this new beginning and this change that's coming your way. So love the reading Aries. So I'm going to pull a final card. Final message for Aries. Yeah, you see, cards are all in sync. We have manifestation. Be very honest and clear about what you wish to manifest in your life. Now write it down on paper, manifestation step one. And again, this is your hopes, dreams, wishes, you know. And I definitely see in the Knight of Cups holding one of these. So definitely, you know, whatever you've been working towards, it feels like this new beginning is really uplifting and positive. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you do, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you, Aries, and I will see you next time. Thank you.